Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Go ahead. Pete Williams with Igor team. Oh no. Tieto teams, move. Yeah, 60 Time to get some attention. 60% rescued Ashley. And 40% rescued Caden. 32% of players play as uh, Femme Shep. Um, however, somebody was pointing out that the like most popular background options that... Oh, it's probably going to be Orphan 1, right? It's the Earthborn Orphan. Earthborn Survivor. Yep. Yeah. But they were saying that like all those options, like all the most popular ones were are also the default oh. settings so it's possible that some of that no, no no i know for a fact like have you ever seen someone like you're like oh you want to try this rpg and they just go into the they just go in default and you're like <laughs> they don't even change their nose yeah they didn't they just go yeah they, they just go in the color of the hair they, they just press accept like Thank a fucking insane person. Hey, PP Max been subscribed for 24 months. Thank you so much. Love you two so much. Keep being the awesome people that you are. Thank you, PP Max. That's two years. That's a toddler. <laughs> How can you not change the name? I'm not the father. My, Prove my, it. My question is, like, if you change nothing else, wouldn't you change the hair? That's no. The, that's the you one... don't understand. Straight men are stupid, and they played the game. <laughs> Have you, um, I don't like see Stacy. I don't think you ever seen the trauma of trying to share your favorite RPG with a man who doesn't play RPGs. Because girls, if they don't know what an RPG is, they'll still be like, "Oh, customized screen. Yeah. Cool. Let's check Ooh, it I out. I can change my clothes. Yeah. Or yeah. like, who am I? Because they'll just go straight in role playing. They don't even know that they're doing it. That's how natural and beautiful they are. <laughs> you try to. Sh I I try to share it like even with a well, gamer man. I was traumatized by the shock. Oh God! By the shock of watching this person just open it up and there open up the customization menu and just click default and move on and just start. Oh wow! Didn't even put their name in. Nah. Default name. Default name. Um, I can tell you some more about the other choices. Uh, Six percent had Rex die on Verbier. Well, see, because everybody was, like, loaded up, and they said, we can't fuck that up. No way. And 7% killed the Rachni Queen. Yeah, because everyone was like, that baby is... That's not her fault. Um, most popular squad mate... Okay, here's the order of popular squad mates in Ma Mass Effect 1. Number one, if anybody wants to Garrus. guess... Garrus. Garrus. Number two... Rex. No. L Liara. Tally. Oh, of course. Yeah, because you, you remember this. You gotta bring your cool bro and the girl that you want to fuck, but you don't know what she looks like. Yeah, you remember this. And then, uh, number three is Liara, four is Rex, five is Ashley, and six is Caden. <laughs> oh, poor Caden. He's just a boring boy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> alright, I know this is not, like, probably actually true, but probably true 1,000%. I feel like everyone categorizing Tally or Tali as a um, cute, like, little girl is a misogynist. <laughs> it may, I don't know. It makes me so mad. Because the first time you see her, she murders people with a grenade and has a shotgun and kills people and, like, is a very competent squad member. Mm -hmm. And everything she says is like, yeah, I'll just fucking kill him. I don't give a shit. Yeah. But, like, they're like, she's the cute one. She's an engineer. She's an engineering. She's a nerd like me, and uh, she's so sweet. I gotta protect her. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? She's an adult, first of all. Second of all, she's on a pilgrimage on her own, fighting random dudes in hallways, killing people. So I really don't think it's just like a. <laughs> it, it's she's on Rumspringa. Yes. Shields down. Do you know what that is? Yeah, that's for yeah. um, what's Amish people. Yeah, <laughs> where they're like, go do whatever you want, go get drunk and bowl, go bowling. Shot strikes. <laughs> yeah. All I'm saying is, stations. thinking Tally is a cute, def defenseless little girl. Something about it, you know, something about it makes me real mad. Are we? Go did I just come from there? Yes, I did. Something about it makes me real mad. Can't explain it. I forgot to retweet your tweet. What? T oh, yeah. To, to let people know. Mm. 
No, no, no. I was going the right way. Fool that I am. Oh, I forgot I could sprint. Yay! Okay, to be fair to Tally, she, first of all, she's wrong for being racist against the Geth. Also, no one had seen a Geth in person to talk to in, like, 300 years, and they, everyone literally thought they were, like, techno-animals. So, that's, it's, it's a little weird. Whoa! Pat, cool subscribe! 42 month streak. Thank you, Pat Cool. I'm glad I was finally able to come catch you two streaming. Thanks for being here. Yeah. I have to like speed run murdering Ashley because. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> because, uh, oh you know, I gotta play World of Warcraft later. Uh, <laughs> That's so funny. Woo! -wee! I don't know why I get such a big kick out of that. The ragdoll physics I do. get me every time. It's funny. There's actually I remember a specific moment in our original Let's Play for The Last of Us where we were blasting people with a shotgun and they were literally just like bodies like flying all over the place and I was laughing so hard because you were hitting them at like point blank range and so they were just like exploding. <laughs> what game were we playing? The Last of Us. Oh. All right, uh, there's an exclamation point here and I feel like I'm fucking it. Oh, there it is. There we go. Continue. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Do we have any Dice Funk fans in the chat? What do y'all think of slime? There he goes. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> Tally is young and people like to associate her as Shepard's little sister in terms of how they interact. That's not true. Everyone's banging Tally. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe they're viewing it as like stepbrother. I, step no, stop. <laughs> Absolutely not. You will not do that to Tally. For, for Tally. I'm just <laughs> saying. Sorry about Normandy. Don't do that, that to that's me. That's a trope on Orange Absolutely YouTube. Absolutely no for a reason and it's like creeps no. me out every time. No, stop. Don't talk about it. Dude, like if you're into that, just don't say anything like I do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you're supposed to just not say anything because you're supposed to be in shame. <laughs> Capricorn, look at, you don't have to read it, but look at what? what Capricorn Tower said. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate that ad. Yeah. I hate that ad that's so like, much. That's the, what's the... that's the one where you're like, so you want to raise her. Uh... Oh no, I'm stuck, stepbrother. <laughs> the ads on that site are just the worst things you've ever seen. <laughs> Okay, I forgot how powerful the pistol was if you're a Vanguard. It's absolutely insane. Mm. Captain Kira, he's down. Agor, form up with Dianto. Hold that line. Don't worry, Ashley, we're we're gonna save you. Yeah, that's it. Oh, thank you for the gift sub, ASN8745. Thank Hold you. JL to around me. Shadow team must be getting close. Ugh. Oh, so I was telling Mari about this, but the reason we are a little late to streaming today is because I was at the dentist and I won't get into like any specifics, but it like <laughs> It's like one of those adulthood things that I'm just like continuously unsurprised and always disappointed that- We've got access to base security. We can cut the alarms from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us. 
but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. What's best? I don't know. Uh, this basically makes it so, are they gonna die um, and then be seen in Mass Effect 2 and 3, or are they not? Hmm. Um, also, you know, consider they kind of suck as people, but I don't know. You know, they've had enough trouble. Just whistle. disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Uh, but I feel like as an adult, like, literally every single, actually just, like, throughout my life, every single time I go to the dentist, there's always some fucking problem. Like, without fail. I've never, ever gone and had them just be like, yep, everything looks good, nice job. I don't think anyone, oh shit, I'm gonna die. Hold on. Get away! Get away! Get away! Just cause I have to. Mm -hmm. But what if you need them later? I've never used them efficiently, ever. Yeah. <laughs> it's never happened. Juggernaut. Lift is so Ooh. OP. It just. What are you gonna do about it, bro? Nothing. Look at Ha! But yeah, I ended up being at that appointment for an hour and a half. And I was. And yeah. like. And. We already have like a whole bunch of stuff that I have Hello? to go back for. Is someone out there? <laughs> oh, okay. I forgot. Can we hold him here? Damn it, fill those holes. Come on, Shepard, hurry it up. What what happened? I just remember we're gonna, I don't know if we're gonna have a tough time to murder Ashley today. Oh. Oh, I like his, Rex's pink outfit. It's very cute. Oh, I can't kill him? Hold on. Whoa! What is going on here? Where are the guards? Where is Sarah? This seems no. like a uh, very Stay back. hazardous this workplace. This is important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. You will not destroy the work we have started. Ah, that would have been great for Tally. Tally, hold on. What do you got? Decryption. Oh, here we go. Now, can you open it? According to these files, the Geth are planning a massive assault. Saren has given or Well, I didn't press anything. It just yeah, it was too fast. Um, where are we? The camera's very weird when you run. Yeah, it's like action camera.
Did we uh, thank ASN 8745? Mm -hmm. Okay. How's everyone doing today? How's your day? You know, lately I've become a lot less suicidal, and that's made me fear death. I don't know how to cope with this. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, ma'am. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, ma'am. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd have said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Can you help me or will I be carrying you out of here? I'll be at your back every step of the way. I just need to get out of here and away from that incessant whispering. They piped it in for days now. Something's not right here, Shepard. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they are so simple? So damn simple! I knew you would. Aww. Oh. <gasps> We're getting close to the big boy. Yeah. My favorite boy. So is this some kind of mind control on these guys? Um, so are you familiar with how cosmic horror makes you go insane? Well, it's, it's like a, it's a question from the chat. So. Oh, um, sort of. It's like cosmic god mind control. So it's like you go insane, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's why they're called the indoctrinated, because it's like, that's, uh, it was the same thing with, um, Benezia. Why is it not opening? What am I missing here? Huh. Oh, is it because there's still bad guys? Yeah, but I can't get to them. They're on the other side of the door. Thank you for subscribing, Jenna Ace. Getting ready for my work week. Hope you all have a great week. So we hope you do too. So there's... Hmm. What am I doing wrong here? Are they like where we came from somewhere or? Huh. Is it? Like, did we forget to, like, kill some people or something? I don't know. Hmm. We'll find out. Oh, they, there's some people over here. is this? <laughs> this is stupid. Does Ooh. anyone have any tips for us? What? Blue shirt is quitting their job Yay! that they've had for, been at for 18 years. You're free! So my day has been mostly nervous about that. I say congrats, although I can definitely understand why that would be, why that would make you anxious, because change is always, you know, it can be scary, it can, you know, be uncertain or whatever. Um, but I'm happy for you. I think a lot of people right now are quitting their jobs <laughs> or like changing jobs or, you know, thinking about like, what do they actually want to be doing and stuff like that. Let's go to the breeding facility, I guess. Pop 
stopping in while I'm at work. I hope the stream goes well. I'll watch it when I get off at 12. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Breeding facility, yeah. Looking pretty submissive and breedable, bro. Ugh. I think it's funny. <laughs> oh, did I see this place already? Have we been here? Um, did we go through the doors on this level? Because mm -hmm. last time you just took the elevator. So what about these? No, 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 no. There's been several ele elevators we've gone through, so I think we've gone. Got Ooh, it. I don't know. Actually, I have no idea what's going on. Where are we? What's... Mm, not falling for that again. They called it. I used to work in a breeding facility in my youth. They called it Sims Three. <laughs> what was that noise? What's going on? No, we've been here. Huh? See? Uh. Why can't we open that other door? I don't know. Maybe oh, I think it's because. Hold on. Can anyone hear me? I'm just getting lost because a lot of these places are very maze like. And also, I'm stupid. No, we didn't take this elevator before, I don't think. Maybe we did. There's just no way of knowing. Is this the first one? Yes. Alright, we've been here. Fuck. To base exterior. Great. What? This is really frustrating. <laughs> I don't know where up to go. The, up the elevator, then go right. Wait, this elevator? Okay, up the elevator. Do we go up? So I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea where we are. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this is where we were, we came through before, and then we tried to go through that door that wouldn't open. Is it possible that it's just bugged? I hope not. <laughs> Like, this is the door that we want to open. It says, okay, so the panel is red. Like, why, though? I think I have to do something. I can't remember why it's red. I feel like there's a reason, but I don't know what it is. Were we supposed to activate controls somewhere? Like, I'm lost and I just played this. Uh, yeah, I think we're bugged. Well, welcome to bug stream. <sighs> All right. Let's go talk to that other guy who's indoctrinated for sure. Oh, you're not a gat. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. Yay, Paragon points. These look docile. Their minds are gone. Ah, oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but I leave them like this. Eh, uh, what do you guys think? <laughs> Let them out. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Is Ashley dead yet? Not yet. Are you sure, Shepard? At best, they might hurt themselves. 
If there is any sense left in them, they might be directed to harm us. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Very well. At least the blast will eventually end it. Yep. Let them out and, and die, or let them out and die. The world may never know. I mean, at least they're not, like, dying in a cage, though. That sucks, you know? I'm frustrated. <laughs> Maybe if I save... Is, like, what is... Yeah. Is there an impact on the next game? I think if you let that guy go, yes. All right. Let us through the door. Please. Come on, we both had really stressful days. This is the one thing we wanted to happen, please. Uh, <gasps> it's green! Is it? Yes! Ooh. I don't know why. I don't know why it's green. I wonder if it was because we had to talk to the guy? Or... I don't I don't think, I think that was like, a, it wasn't necessary. It's so weird. I don't remember that being important. Ah, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's wet in here. You guys don't take care of your own base. This is how you get mold. All that damp. Oh, this is a sewer level. Oh, no. I petition to end all sewer levels forever from every RPG for the rest of time. Yeah. Banned. It's Stop putting sewer levels in RPGs. Oh, you just started the game. You're an hour in after seeing a beautiful landscape filled with bright lights and gorgeous landscapes. Um, do you want to be in a sewer? No, I don't. I do not want to be in a sewer. Ever. There's never been a time where I thought I want to be in a sewer. I'm outside? This fucking, they just Japanese castle me, dude. What? Is this for real? You just went out the back door. I fucking hate this game. This game's stupid. Uh, okay, there's a door all the way at the end. If you go left out of the elevator, it was red, but it opened for me. I think that's... So okay, That's so the door we just went through. What? Uh, where, where I'm lost. This is the door, guys. This is the door. No, All the way left. They're, they're saying if you go in the elevator between these two areas. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, Just let me get to the breeding facility. I'm submissive and breedable. Please, is this the one? There. Yes. Here? Wait, so... Oh. Was... Mm. Stop, go back, you went too far. I think they were talking about the elevator, right? Where, or were we supposed to go... Do you want us to go in the elevator, There's or... We're very confused, so if we seem frustrated. Stop, it go back. You said to first to go through it's the door. No, yes, go in the elevator. And then we take a left out of the elevator, right? And then they said there's a door all the way over here. Is that... I don't... I don't remember that being... Oh! Anyway, uh, no one talked to me or perceived me for a little bit. Uh, I do know this game. Come on, don't. Mm. Here we go. Whee! All right, we found it eventually. Okay, thank you so much for your help. We would have been, yeah. Uh... <laughs> don't shoot. Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I don't believe you. Everyone in this place is trying to kill me. Do I look like a soldier? 
I'm a neurospecialist, and this job isn't worth dying over. Or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. <laughs> Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? Yeah, okay, bye. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never... Ah! I like her facial markings a lot. I like the way you think, Shepard. Oh, sorry, put makeup on to emulate different things. Liara, for some reason, without ever encountering human culture, has her makeup exactly like humans. Is it so that male players will find her more human and more attractive because straight men are too simple to understand the complexities of a sorry culture? I, or does she super love humanity? I really like how she has those, like, Drawn early, on eyebrows. Early 2000s eyebrows mm -hmm. drawn on. Her mom has them too, but Dude. they're like high arched. Oof. Remember? I, so I'm remembering, oh. um. Oh, you might want to. Shepard, oh. look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. All right, this is my favorite uh, scene. Mm. This is why I kept getting confused. I was like, I know it was in a weird stair-like area. <laughs> oh my god. Saren needs to pay for what he's done to my people. Oh, I thought, wait, am I, no, something's about to happen, I know it. There we go. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable. <laughs> Of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. <laughs> there is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. A cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them, the legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization.
civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. Dun -dun. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. That's not true. You come from giant squid people. I remember. Huh. I remember the DLC. Robot cuttlefish? Yeah, you you descend you were created by giant squid people under the ocean. So mm -hmm. you just got outed, loser. It's almost as if they had a real big mystery and someone decided to explain it and then it didn't say, seem as cool. Well, it's kind of, he's basically <laughs> saying, like, I don't have parents. I'm my own person. Meanwhile, Squid's, honey? Yeah. You're going to pay your tribute in blood, okay? <laughs> Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. Isn't this so much cooler than some random child being like, you know, you could just make everybody half robot, including plants. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is cooler. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. Ooh. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Okay. Ow! Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. There's nothing we can do here. Idea, Shepard? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Hell yeah, nuke time! Coming hard breeding facility. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I just kept being like, this is probably a clip that somebody used to make an animated sex video. <laughs> Ever since we've been doing that, I'm just like, you know what? That's probably it. Yeah. <gasps> God. Relax, Whoa. bro. Dude. The guests are turning. Shepard must be getting close. Janto, circle around. Keep them here. Keep them... I don't want to do manual override. Lost shields. Charging up. Quickly, we have to get to the breeding facility. Come on! How many submissive, breedable little girl- little- Whoa, that was fucking weird. Sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. <laughs> I, it was like, on the fly shit, and yeah. I was like... Oh, 
I don't care. Le let me out. I don't give a shit. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Abandoned again. sentence. It's all gone wrong. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, sometimes when I'm just, like, freestyling, I'm like, you know, you say, just say shit. And then you're like, wait, no. That's not, that's not something. That's not anything. Well, it's like you, you say it, and then you think about, like, the full meaning of what you said. You yeah. Know, as, as opposed to, yeah. Just, like, words coming out. Too late, you're on the watch list. I know. It's, <laughs> I accept it. I kind of deserve it at this point. Not in a real way, for saying the little girl thing. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just one yike, it's okay. Not a lot of yikes. Sometimes it be that way. Yeah, sometimes you just yikes, and you, there's not much you can do about I it. I award you one yike. Tally, why the fuck are you blocked? Can you just be where you're supposed to be? Where the fuck are you? Oh, is she dead? Oh, oh that'll be it. Yeah. That'll do it, yeah. <laughs> Get up, Tally. Get over here. Come on. <laughs> Fucking do this. Hack him. God damn it, Tally. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh god damn it. Did I see the Blade Runner Black Lotus trailer? No, Whoa, I did not. Cool. What is that? Is that like... Is there gonna be like a Blade Runner anime? Is that what that's gonna be? Ooh, animated series. Cool. This looks neat. Yeah. He's floating off to meet God, I guess. The guests are turning. Shepard must be getting close. Janto, circle around. Keep them here. Keep them. I'm having some delicious stew for dinner. I swear about my instant pot. Instant pot so much they should be paying me. Please instant pot, pay me. I need income. <laughs> <laughs> I I think the probably like the cheapest, most helpful like kitchen gadget that I got recently was the super cubes. Which, if you're not familiar with what those are, they are basically like, it's like a silicone tray that you can put things in it to freeze it into like blocks. Um, so like if you make like soup or pasta sauce, chili, uh, anything else that you could potentially put in there, um, you can like freeze it into blocks. And it's like super handy if you like, you know, like portioning out things. Yeah, it's like super handy because like I made like a giant batch of pasta sauce, like a bolognese, mm -hmm. and um, so it's like I had one portion when I made it, and then I froze a bunch of it into blocks, and then it's like you can have it for months, just you know whenever you're like ah shit, like I need like quick food, and it's like all you have to do is just defrost it, and boom, pasta already. Yay! And I've done it with chili, too. That was also really good. I'm a big fan of, like, making a big batch of food, like enchiladas or, like, pasta sauce, something like that, and then just eating that. Oh, 
Oh, look at all this bird poo detail. Bird poo! Ah! Don't worry, the first 50 minutes is me being lost and then dying. Yeah. <sighs> Although you did miss the cool conversation with Sovereign, which was neato. Basically just being a super condescending robot cuttlefish. Being like, I'm You unknowable. wouldn't get it, you just like, uh. I'm too deep for you. Oh my god. Maybe Sovereign's like the hipster, like, I don't know, man. This film is just beyond your understanding. Why does Medigel suddenly heal me way Shuffle less? Be close. Janto, circle around. Does it have to be upgraded or anything? Nah, or? I don't care. <laughs> okay. Um... You stuck behind a fucking door? Okay, thank you. Reapers are dark space hipsters. Oh, we were sentient before you guys were. Ugh. We've been here for like over 50,000 years. We're like eternal. Ugh. Oh, and to revisit this, I watched the last Fear Street movie and all three of them super fun and gay. The Fear Street ones? Mm hmm. I should get around to watching that. I think you'd like them. It's kind of like, like Goosebumps slasher movie Ooh. type thing, because it's like it, it's gorier than I had expected, but like, it, like not as not as serious. No, yeah, not scary, I guess. Yay! People getting ripped apart, but like in a fun way. Okay, <laughs> I can do that. Okay. No, don't hit me! Thank you. <laughs> Fuck. You know I'm gonna save. No, I can't! <laughs> Give me this. Yay! Small gap in the elevator. Oh, okay. Come here, Tally, then. Oh, there's, they're coming from all the places. Alright, I see. <laughs> Automod blocks super fun gay thing. Because <laughs> you can't say the word gay. Yeah. It just assumes. Oh, oh. Nice work on that gun, Commander. We've got the other one in our sights. Oh, remind me, I gotta show you my massage gun later, because it's, like, really good at getting out knots and stuff. Oh, and yeah. And it's, it's not a sex thing. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've, I've used them before. Oh. Yeah, you can get one that, like, was really strong and powerful off There's of Amazon for, like, 60 Clear bucks. Gaps and get the yeah. Set. I thought they were, like, $200. I, uh, when I used to work at the moving company, one, the person that I was dating at the time had one, and... So that was fun, I guess. Well, you can get one off Amazon for like 60, 70 bucks, and it works just great. So it really revolutionized it. Everyone get yeah, now. I don't really get sore enough to the point where I think I'd need it. Oh, I don't know. It just feels good, man. I don't know. Yeah. And it's not really about soreness. It's more like, you know how we're like sometimes you have scar tissue in a weird place, oh, right. you don't realize nice it, and work. then... That's one less thing to worry about. And then Commander, you... I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. There's birds? 
Hmm. <clears throat> Those birds are gonna die. You're gonna die, birds. Get out. No, they're flying away, so it's fine. Look, they, they're like, there's a new coming. <laughs> Where are you? Um, they also had, like, one oh, of those, like, is. electrode things where you could, like, stick it on your body and, like, shock yourself oh. to, like, loosen up the muscles. That was fun. I remember doing that, and I can't remember the reasoning why, but they didn't tell me it was to loosen my muscles. It was some other reason. Bomb is in position. We're I'm, all set here. I'm right here, Kaden. Can you read me? <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> I'm standing right in front of you. <laughs> Please don't scream. <laughs> the nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kirahi is dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Wait, how did he die? I helped him at every chance I could. Oh. Uh, he survives if you send Caden with him, is what oh. somebody had said. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking do that. Normandy, pick him up. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. All right, Garrus. I don't know, Liara. Yeah. See you. I assume I don't know where I'm going. Breeding trench. We gotta go to the breeding trenches, guys. Ugh. That's breeding trench. That sounds so dark. What? What's wrong with the breeding trench? Ugh. Is there an issue? Hold on. How do I get in here? Are we? I thought we were going. We're going to the AA tower, is what they said, right? I don't know where the fuck the AA tower is. What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> That's a sentence. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, just heading over to the breeding tower. What? Yeah. No, the breeding trench. It's oh god, worse. breeding trench. Yeah. Like, I know that it's probably not looking like what I think it's gonna look like, mm. but... Am I confused? Yes, I am. Okay, remember how I said one yike? Now it's multiple yikes. Okay, but like, I didn't do that. Breeding trench, a good old Disneyland ride. Oh my god. I'm supposed to be able to go through this door. You see what I'm saying? Go over here. I go through the breeding trench into the AA tower. So do you know how to open the breeding trench door? Is it? I it, can't remember what I'm doing wrong. Oh, I guess maybe I have to talk to this guy. I don't know. Other door. The door I was trying to go through? This one? No, uh, which door, which breeding trench, which breeding trench is it? I'm trying to meet people up at the, at the AA tower, and they say I have to go through the, the one that you came through. But I did, I, I don't remember. This is the door I came from, I think. It's closed. Yeah, that door. So is this another save and reload? Thing or why is it closed? There are two doors, Mari. Where? <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm literally at the only two doors. There are no other doors. What? Yeah. So what? A is? Huh? There's a console on on one side. No, no, no. Like I. The door near the bomb. Anyway. Moving on. I'm so glad that they hid that behind a crate. Assholes. <laughs> Chat's like, LOL. <laughs> Why? 
Hey, why come for me every time? I feel like if you had biotics, it would be really fun to, like, be, like, above a pool and then just, like, throw each other up in the air and then you come splashing down. I feel like that would be fun. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you're saying. I said I feel like if you and a friend had biotics, it would be really fun to, like, be, like, in a pool and you just use your biotics to throw each other up in the air. Oh! And, like fly around for a while and then like fall back down oh my god what if like your friend just started floating away from the pool and you're like shit 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 <laughs> <laughs> wait oh fuck and oh, then, no. then like the wind starts blowing they're like oh shit i can't control my body please help me oh my god that's definitely something would happen if two kids had biotics oh definitely yeah like they'd be like we're gonna be so much trouble we <laughs> heads up lt we just spotted a troop ship headed to your location it's already here. There's geth pouring out all over the bomb site. And there'd be some news article. How they bad would, is it? Yeah. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. Well, I'm the, activating the bomb. Uh, just hold on. Alenka, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Okay. Alenko. <laughs> Radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I, I... You know it's the right choice, LT. Okay. Yeah, of course it was. Fight hard, Chief. Die proud. <laughs> aye, aye, Commander. I mean, she probably respects that more. Yeah, but I just love like... how it's like you're acknowledging that, yes, you are going to die. Yeah. But I feel like, I feel like, actually, as a tough woman, she is a tough woman, but as a tough woman, she would respect that more than some sort of sappy, like, bullshit. Or saying, oh, you're gonna make it. You're not gonna make yeah, it. Yeah, you're not gonna make it, no. <laughs> Goodbye, Ashley, and to be honest, I always hated you. <laughs> she took that pretty well, yeah. R.I.P., Ashley. Rest in pieces. Yay, singularity, everybody goes flying. Oh. It was never our intention to save Ashley, so. I <laughs> the, kid, the truth is, the game is rigged from the start. <laughs> it sounds like something she would say. Truth is, Commander, the game's rigged from the start. It's from um, the opening of uh, Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> It's told by Joey from Friends. <laughs> Joey from Friends says it and then kills you. <laughs> and Joey from Friends is like, war. War never changes. War. What is war? He's <laughs> like, oh, sorry, kid. War Truth never is. changes, man. <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> Oh, so what was that game that we were gonna play this weekend? Uh, um, the one that it I... was by the people that we like. Last stop, is that the one? Uh, the one, the one you linked it to me on in our uh, DMs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it it looks it looks cool. It's single player third person adventure set in present day London where you play as three separate characters whose worlds collide in the midst of a supernatural crisis it's from Annapurna Interactive which and the developer is Variable State and I don't know it looked really Commander, neat set that nuke and get out we can't hold them okay damn it all right later suppressing fire cover your flank oh cover Caden's your... doing it okay he's fine This is my favorite part because it's extremely feminist. <laughs> I applaud you, Shepard. 
My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Uh... Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Ooh. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. Oh boy. Okay, right. here we, we go. We <laughs> but if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. He's literally that Once guy. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. It's not working, is it? <laughs> You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. <laughs> I'm too capable. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. <laughs> my mind is still my own, for now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Eh, I don't wow. care. It's already happened, idiot. Yeah. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together, we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. Oh my god. There is no other logical conclusion. What? He's a bootlicker. Yeah. <laughs> like, big time. And also one of those. You were a speck. Go ahead, sorry. You were sworn to defend one of those... the galaxy. I'm and logical. You broke that vow to save yourself. As soon as you said that, I was like, dude, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Um, I do find it amusing that Automod apparently stops you from saying bootlicker. Wow. I like that he's like rolling around on a flying skateboard. You know what this looks like? This looks like the little thing that <sighs> Green Goblin in Spider-Man, you know, he has his little flying hoverboard thing. Is that? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh my, <laughs> Kate is just flopping around. He wasn't even doing he anything. He literally went like this. He was like. Like what? what is, is he just struggling uh... against the current? Like he wasn't even in the fight. See you later, nerd. Okay, get back here. You can't just run away on your flying skateboard. <laughs> Watch this. This is what this spot. This is awesome. I love this. They did not give an alternate female uh, animation for this, so check it out. So Caden's like, help me. No, no, no. Check this. Yeah! <laughs> oh, <hell yeah. laughs> One arm. One arm, dude. One Wait, arm. Hang on. Bye, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, that was the fucking best. <laughs> yeah, dude. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? See, this is part of the reason why, like, my initial attraction to Caden was so strong. A, because, like, Liara at the time kind of creeped me out at that stage of my life. Mm -hmm. Not because she's a woman, but because, like, I would go in there and she'd be like, I read all the, everything about you, and I was like, hey, Caden. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I liked Caden because you could, like, pick him up and, like, just be his boss, and he ranges from being cool with it to being into it like he just got rescued one shoulder fire woman and he's like that's fine i don't feel any negative feelings about that i'm happy because there's guys who've been like you didn't have to care me like that I'm like you want to die yeah he doesn't act all stupid about it he's just like yeah it was you or her <laughs> there was no time i couldn't save you both the bomb was about to go off but why me why not her because she's a racist. Don't fucking question me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't blame yourself, dude. It's because she was a racist and you're kind of neutral. Yeah. It wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. Listen, Caden, there's a chance that we could bang. I wasn't going to bang Ashley. It's as simple as that. Yeah, it could still happen. We're just saying Liara and I are still open to it. <laughs> And I don't understand why you keep saying that that's not what you want. Yeah. Like, it doesn't make sense to I'm me. Just it really, I don't understand <laughs> it. It makes no sense. I'm so sorry, Kaden. Who are you? <laughs> it wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm, we'll get it done. Can you imagine, like, he's so Come serious on. now? Excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Okay, hold on. So, her eyebrows have gotten, like, increasingly distracting for me every time I see her. Because once you notice them... Well, okay, so, because they remind me a lot of the way that my grandmother drew her eyebrows, which started like this, and... Like, as she got older and older, they just kept going higher and higher until, like, they were literally, like, these semicircles, like, above her eyes that just looked like, a, like, clown makeup. I wonder if she knew, and she was just like, I'm old. I don't give I don't, a shit. I don't fucking care. They were, like, halfway up her forehead, just... And not, like, a thick eyebrow, literally just a pencil line. So I like to imagine that, like, <laughs> in a few years, after Commander Shepard and Liar get super famous for being, like, cool people, like, post Mass Effect 2, just even. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to tell somebody, yeah, like, Commander Shepard tried to have a three-way with me and Liara, and they're like, so the Shadow Broker and the Savior of the Citadel <laughs> tried to have a three-way with you? And he was like, I was looking for something serious. And I said no. And they're like, you idiot. Bro. Oh, come on, man. Bro. The Savior of the Citadel and the Shadow Broker both wanted to bang you. And you said no? <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, that's why you got a drinking problem. <laughs> Not the trauma, just the regret. I, yeah, I'm just picturing him, like, you know, being at the bar, like, nursing a drink, being like, I could have had everything. I could have had it all. I they wanted, had it They all. wanted a three-way relationship. That would have been forever, man. Yeah. Why did I say no? We could have been a little polycule. Dude, I would have had, like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you missed Ashley dying. Mm -hmm. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I know what you're doing, Liara. Come on. Cut it out. Why do we have to do it in front of everybody? Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Alright, my favorite part is the sexually writhing uh, sovereign at the end of this. <laughs> you just wait. You're gonna watch and be like, yeah, that was very sexual. <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> Incredible. I I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. 
Liara, can you at least pretend like you didn't just have an orgasm, please? Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. Cool. Uh, that's it? Okay. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. Oh my god, I kept forgetting to say this during this playthrough. Liara's face actress has a nude three-way scene in the movie Wild Things 3. Who was her face? I thought... She oh, wait, has no, a voice I... actress and a face actress. Her face model has a three-way in the movie Wild Things 3. I don't know. You know, I feel like people would want to know that. Yeah, I for some reason I was thinking of... Uh, I, keep, I keep was thinking of Miranda. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, what? How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. The entire me um, to, to It is... Uh, she. It's in Wild Things Foursome. Oh! Is the one that she's in. But she's in a threesome in Wild Things foursome. I... Or was it a foursome? I see that this... I'm... I don't know now. I'm like, who's the fourth person? We don't know. I only remember three people in that shower scene, so I don't know. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind. Drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. I just need some time to recover. Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a convoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. <laughs> so, yeah! Uh, the true artificial intelligence, this news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Yeah, oh my god, they're talking to us like we're stupid. Mm -hmm. Sovereign's a reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Shepard's like, I'm Batman. <laughs> I have the authority. <laughs> You're allowed to do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. Is that so? All right. Whew. 
oh god my anxiety is off the charts and nothing bad is happening yeah i was as i was saying earlier i've just had that feeling all day that i'm forgetting something important which is like i have a sense of impending doom mm. Mm. you know how it is 